today I'm going to do a review on a refrigeration unit that I put in my mobile bedroom. Now, if you haven't watched it, I had the, the introductory when I purchased it and I unboxed it. It's in a couple videos back. If you want to stop this right now and, and watch that video, go ahead and do that and then come back where you left off here. But today what I want to do is I want to concentrate whether it's really a good investment, really a, is it convenient, and all the things that one would think when they were going to buy a refrigeration unit for their mobile bedroom. So stick with me right now and I'm going to show you exactly the results I had of the review. have over 37 years business experience creating income and just in the last five years did I start devoting that time to producing remote income subscribe below and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted of every new video I come out with I've been on the road since August of last year of 2020 and uh, naturally the first thing I did is I went out and bought a, a, a cooler that was similar to a Yeti and they made claims five to seven days that ice would last within their product. I traveled, I started out in Michigan and I traveled from Michigan. My first journey was to go to Yuma. Obviously I uh, stopped along the way and I had to fetch ice Generally, three days is really the turnaround time for my ice because I didn't want a bunch of water, even though I did experience some issues where I had uh, sandwiches uh, that were waterlogged or I had something that was ruined because water got into the product. So that kind of uh, cost me a little bit more on food costs, and I thought, so that was an issue. The second thing is I had the problem with every time I'd empty it and fill it, I'd, there'd be some kind of mess somewhere. Either I'm emptying in somebody's uh, parking lot or uh, it's getting on the inside of my vehicle and then I've got, I got things I gotta clean up. I'm getting ice inside and I gotta get that back out. So I gotta clean up the area just from retrieving ice. The third thing is that every time I did have to go get ice, the one thing I never really considered was that the amount of money it costs me, not only on the product price, and generally on average is about $2 a bag, like for a 10 pound or seven pound bag. But it was the trip that I was making with the gas and how much it was really costing me. So ice was, I was I, as I was calculating, I was realizing that ice was really cost me more than I really needed it to. I do like the fact that I can take a cold bottle of water or I can have a food product where I can keep under refrigeration. It's just the trouble with a, the regular cooler is that a lot of your time is on the regular cooler. So I spend a lot of my time uh, doing all the things I need to do in order to have cold food or cold beverages. And so I started investigating, uh, and I've been doing this actually when I first started getting into it. I did think about uh, a refrigerator unit or freezer unit within my mobile bedroom. But every time I looked into it, the cost was so so much that I didn't think it was worth it at the time. Well, doing uh, the ice thing from last August to now, I get to a point where I'm, I'm just tired of it. If I can find an alternative, I'll do that. So I did some research to find out uh, about different companies, and I'm realizing a lot of these are made by Chinese companies, and they have just kind of some kind of uh, generic name on them. This particular brand, I've talked to a few people who have had it over a few years, and they've had good results on it. But today, what I want to do is show you exactly what type of results I've had on it. I've had it about a month now. Yeah, let me show you how I organized it because obviously it's, it's a unit that I have to find uh, that I have enough space. Not only to do my ride share, my deliveries, but also at nighttime when I turn it into my mobile bedroom. Now what I've done here, I've kind of placed it 
in here where my bedding is up on top, which uh, insulates the unit itself. This is the unit here, and it can be pulled out and pulled back in based on uh, how I move my things. You live in a smaller space than you would like a van. It's an SUV. I do have to move things all the time in order to keep everything organized. One of the things I have is I have a real problem with disorganization, so I'm constantly moving things back and forth to try. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and remove the items up here, my bedding and stuff, and go ahead and remove those. Now I also have a sleeping bag on those colder nights. And then I'll get it right in here into the cooler itself. Back here, you see, this is uh, my window coverings. One thing I did with them is I made them pretty thick and then it's their backer board on one side. And maybe I'll just show you a little bit of it. And then on the other side, it's made of fabric. And they work pretty good. Uh, they're easy to keep maintained and they do a good job keeping the sun out. Then also uh, my three panel mattress I have, six gallons of water. Uh, for like cooking and cleaning and stuff like that uh, And here's the cooler the cooler can be adjusted as far as temperature. It's got gauges on it where you could uh, decrease or, in or increase the temperature uh, Being a refrigeration unit depending on what you have in there, but my suggestion is 48 degrees uh, In order to keep the food safe I mean, they say you can go all the way up to, I think it's 55, but I would keep it down to 48. Now, one thing I noticed about this unit, at first I ran it off of uh, 120. So I plugged it right directly into my inverter. And then through the inverter, uh, I had a battery and my solar panel attached to it. The problem I had with it is that if you have any issues, which I did, I had an issue with the solar panel. So if you have any issues, then the electricity cuts off and then you don't have anything in it. So what I do is I revert it to the cigarette plug-in. And that way uh, I can always check to make sure it's plugged in because it's got a light on it and so on. That's one reason. And another reason is that I'm finding out that as long as I'm charging it during the day when I'm driving, like with ride share or for deliveries, I'm finding that when I do shut it off, the car off at night or when, you know, when I'm ready to settle down in bed, that the temperature maintains its temperature inside the cooler. I really uh, like that when I don't have to feed it power all the this time. This is what happened to now my solar panel. I was stupid and I went through a car wash a while back and then it... Uh, ripped the wires and stuff and then the side panel of it well then i tried to fix it and best i could and uh it would go ahead and work and then all of a sudden i'd look at it and the wires were disconnected or whatever so i've been kind of dealing with that so i decided to go ahead and purchase another solar panel and that way uh i don't have those issues of not getting energy because my, my biggest problem I'm having right now is to maintain everything uh, to make sure everything has enough energy and that's being a laptop the cooler uh, and so I'm having to run the car w through an inverter in order to achieve that and I'd like to eliminate that p problem so these are some of the hurdles you go through I, mean, I bought it never thought I'd have an issue of course I didn't think about the, going through a car wash instead of hand washing it but things happen and uh, we learn from them yeah, so I ordered I ordered the solar panel. It should be in here uh, within a few days. So as soon as it comes in, I will take that one off. And it's got like uh, six bolts on each side. I'll go ahead and take that off and replace it with uh, the one that's not damaged or the one I couldn't repair. It's hard to find parts for these things. If I could find the parts, I could probably repair it. But it's very difficult to find parts. All right, uh, one thing nice about the unit is that it's constructed really good. It's got a good construction. It's got a digital readout where you have your temperature right here and also your degrees here. You can decrease it or increase it how you want it. I'm at 30 set, set, 38 right now. And then the set button and on and off. So as I open it, it has uh, quite a bit of room. Actually, a lot of room. Right now the temperature is at, looks like it's 45. So it's a good temperature. 
cold water and also food items that you can pack in there one time you got to watch out with the cut co the the cover itself because sometimes they'll come down and then hit you so you got to be careful with that in the back here i put my cheese and my butters back here and also uh my onion and then some condiments there is a light back here which is kind of nice at night time if you want to go in and uh, look for a, a food item it's nice to find it in there i also uh just to show you, I've also gotten addicted to uh, Famous Dave's Spicy Pickle Chips. Now, I don't eat a bunch of them, but I eat like two or three of them. And then, uh, not every day, but uh, there are days I get, uh, I want more than just two or three of them. As far as construction in here, very good. It's got a basket that goes all the way down into the unit. So, it's very well constructed. I really haven't had any issues with it other than my charging but that's not really the unit's fault it's uh, a lot has to do with uh, my solar panel if you look on each side in the back of it there's uh, fans I put items in there so it doesn't obstruct the fan so there's some air movement that can get to the unit uh, that's about it but as far as uh, the unit itself is like $269 really inexpensive uh, I've had it for 30 days now. I would highly recommend it if you're tired of dealing with ice You're just tired of dealing with the, not even buying it I figured in six months this thing will be paid off and then after that it will be all totally profit and so uh, From my estimation, I'm looking to get about three years out of it. And we'll see how that goes I'll probably do another review as we get more into it uh, Maybe after you know a year then I'll do another review and give an update of how it's been functioning for me if you really got anything out of this video I ask that you subscribe below and hit the notification bell and that way I'll notify you every time a video comes out